to Art at Home with Miss Beth. I'm Miss Beth, and today we're going to do a little bit more with color. Last time you guys watched, we made a color wheel. Do you want to see my color wheel? I'm probably already blocked it. Ta da! I like cats, obviously. So, I have a creative color wheel. I took the swatches and I cut them into cat figures and I put them in the correct order that. Who was the scientist again that invented the color wheel? Sir Isaac Newton. This is his this is his color wheel. So I started out, I've got my red, I've got my red orange, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, yellow green, green, blue green, blue, blue violet, violet or purple, and red violet. Now when we look at our color wheel, I arranged it this way because this is uh, part of my color schemes. So if we're talking color theory and color schemes, uh, I have warm colors and I have cool colors. And I divided it up this way. These are my warm colors. And when you think about warm colors, you think about fire and sun and hot lava. I think a lot of kids like to tell me too. So that would be these. These are the warm colors. If I said cool colors, I think about water and grass and outer space and they're kind of calming colors. And these are my cool colors. And a lot of times when you're making art, it's important to think about the colors on our color wheel so that we are able to understand, have a better understanding of, of how the arrangement is how colors make us feel. Colors do uh, add a lot to our emotions. When you think about red, a lot of times it's like a stoplight. It's anger. If you think about blue, blue is very calming. And a lot of times they will paint things, certain colors. I think hospitals used to be probably blue uh, so that it was more of a calming place that you're in. Uh, if you're needing to have attention, bringing attention to something and vibrant. Usually some oranges or yellows would help with that as well. So today we will be talking about the different arrangements of our colors. So we did say we have warm, we have cool colors, we also have complementary colors. So complementary colors are opposite each other on the color wheel. So if I were to put my line red and green, Huh. Red and green are opposite each other on the color wheel. Here are my red and my green. Now compliment, hmm, what does compliment mean? If someone were to say, oh my gosh, your hair just looks gorgeous today. Is that being nice or is that being mean? Oh yeah, that is a compliment. That is nice, so nice. Colors do that too to each other. So green, when he's next to red, says, oh wow, you sure look bright today. And red says, no, green, you look bright today. So they're super, super bright. When they're next to each other, they're vibrant. Um, if I were to have these with paint and we were to mix it, the two colors, we'd get brown. Because obviously this is red. This is made up of blue and yellow. It's just mixing our primaries. And it's a way to make, you get a good red brown if we mix these. So opposite each other on the color wheel, red and green. A lot of kids will tell me, well, those are the Christmas or holiday colors. A lot of times you have that green tree with the red lights. It just pops a lot more. So let's do, whoops, without pulling this all down, let's do our blue and the opposite of blue is orange. So what? Oh yeah, Broncos. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Broncos colors are blue and orange and an artist actually made their uniforms. They wanted to look down at that field and be able to see them from far away. So once more, compliment, orange says to blue, you are super, super bright. No, you are super bright today. Compliment each other. If we mix them, we're gonna end up with a blue brown probably, or a blue tint to our brown. So blue and orange, we've got one more set. So we have to take a, woo, we take a um, primary, yellow, opposite of yellow is purple, Vikings. 
that's usually the first thing that gets thrown out too. And same thing, uniforms out on that green field, they're going to see this and they're going to stand out and they will complement each other. So, I have complementary colors, which is what we're going to work with. I wanted to talk a little bit about a few more of our color schemes before I show you the project. So, I have a triangle. Triadic means three. You've got the word tri in there, tricycle, three tires. Triangle would be one, two, three, or one, two, three. We're doing math today. How do you like that? It's math and art. It all works. Um, so you have some triadic color schemes. Let's go with our first one would be our primaries. So if I lay this like this, you've got red, blue, yellow. That is a triadic color scheme. Let's do our, ooh, let's do our secondary colors. So I've got green, there we go. Ah, I don't think that my, my triangle is that. Okay, that's probably better. Aha, okay. So with this one, this is our secondaries. I've got purple, I've got green, and I have orange. And this will work with any of these that we do. You could even use your, um, you could use your tertiary colors to come up with some different schemes as well. Uh, we have analogous, which is another color scheme, and it involves the three next to each other on the color wheel. So things that are for analogous color schemes, it makes you, it, it, it's, it's something that if you like the three colors together, these three, I guess, these three would go together nicely. It's calming. Um, they just, if you're painting a room and you want it to all look the same or similar, you're going to use analogous colors. Um, and any, any on here. You can even go with green, yellow, green, and yellow. I think I like the purples and the blues. Maybe the, ooh, no, I'm going to pick these three as my favorite if I had to do that. So analogous are just next to each other on the color wheel, and they work well together. We also have monochromatic. And with mono, mono means one, chromatic is color, you're using one color. We're going to work with that one at another time. But with monochromatic, that is another type of a color scheme. Today, though, I am going to have you guys work with complementary colors. Okay? So you're going to choose either red and green, you're going to choose blue or orange, or you're going to choose yellow or purple. Or you know what? Maybe you could do a little with all of them. And I'm going to leave this one up to you guys. I'm going to show you what your assignment will be. And I pulled a lot of these out from um, just online. So things that maybe you find around the house, maybe you've got some, some fruit. Is a pear really always that red? Probably not. Is a pear ever blue? No, never. Eh, yellow looks about right. Um, what you're going to do, you're going to go in and you're going to just use complementary colors. So each of these, they did it three times so that they were practicing. Down here they did it also and they added black and white, which would be another thing you could do. This reminds me of Andy Warhol. It's got a lot of um, this pop art there, especially with the Heart. Or maybe Jim Dine. Jim Dine is one of my wonderful heart um, artists as well. Down here, they did the same thing. So you've got flowers, yellow flowers, purple background, red flowers, green background, orange flowers, blue background, and they pop. These colors are, they are complementing each other very much. Love this one. Um, you've got that green and that red. They stand out so much. If you were to do this with the analogous, they wouldn't have that brightness, that they wouldn't have the, the ability to pop out like these do. And this is some abstract. We've got lines here, but it's blue and orange. So this is what you guys are going to do. You're going to work with complementary colors. You can do something similar to this. If you just want to choose one of the color scheme patterns, you may do that. This is single. This is single. If you want to include a black and white, you may do that as well. And you know what I would like for you to do? I would like for you to reach out to um, our website and we can post them on Facebook. So, and if you have questions too or comments on the site, please add it to the bottom and we, I will 
get back and reach to you. So doesn't matter what medium you're using. You can use anything you want. If you have paints, you have crayons, it's all, anything will work. Any kind of paper will work as well. So get out there and make some complimentary artwork for me and have a good day. Stay well.